Um, I'm Gavin, uh, one of City Connect's project team based in Leeds. Uh, City Connect is a project funded through Department for Transport Cycle City Ambition Grant. It's a partnership between Bradford Council, Leeds Council, uh, West Yorkshire Combined Authority and it's a uh, funding that's ring fenced for spend on cycling improvements. Flagship element of the project is a 23 kilometre largely segregated Dutch style cycle track due for completion next spring and that's what we're riding on right now. Um, it's the kind of cycle track that's beginning to appear along the length of the route which runs from Seacroft out in East Leeds right through to Bradford city centre passing through some of the most densely populated areas of the region and alongside some of the most congested routes into the two cities. Um, this bit's still awaiting its final surfacing. Two main types of segregation used. Type 1, that's a one or two way cycle track separated from the main carriageway by a 60 centimetre safety strip. Uh, that's what we're riding on right now. And Type 2 is a lighter form of segregation separated from the carriageway by a kerb. Uh, where possible, the track's been designed to give priority over side roads. Um, where that happens, there'll be a green surface applied to uh, the track at these points of potential conflict. Where priority hasn't been possible due to highways constraints, there's either going to be a give way or a signalled crossing. Bus stop, bus stop designs allow cyclists to pass around the back of the bus stop rather than having to rejoin the carriageway, uh, and that's like the one that we've just passed there. Um, to complement the on-road segregated cycling infrastructure, we've put in new 20 mile per hour zones along much of the route to make cycling and walking even safer, and we've resurfaced the Air Valley towpath, which is a more rural route from Shipley to Leeds. We've got a pretty ambitious target given our start point of about 1.5% of journeys in the region but we hope once built it will eventually see about 9,000 daily cycle trips along the route. This is going to have a clear effect on the number of cars being used. Um, to help hit that target we've got an engagement team and they're working with organisations like schools and businesses installing cycle parking, offering cycle training, uh, lead rides and best practice guidance on how to encourage visitors uh, and staff to travel by bike. 